here, training a loss against France here in Tallaght Stadium. Not the result Ireland would have wanted, but a lot of positives in the first half in particular. Yeah, absolutely. Um, definitely not a result you want to see. I mean, a loss. No one, you don't want to look at the scoreboard 3-0, 1-0. You don't want to walk away off the pitch and and know that that was that's the end result. But again, I think that there was, especially in that first 45 minutes, there was so much that this team, that I'm so impressed with with the girls on this team and the way that we've changed our style of play and our trusting amongst each other. I even said today, like, um, like with Marissa, like I think it's so important link up play between me and the midfield and the midfielders and, and between the you know our sixes. And I was so impressed with how much we trust each other and where we could find each other in pockets before we were even there. And I just like, like and you feel that it's palpable on a pitch, right? And in those first 40 minutes, I mean the first 25 minutes, I mean you were just like every we were high up the field, we were like we made friends uncomfortable, and like that is a testament to how we as a team have grown so much and how much we have developed and trusted each other in this in style of play and I think that that makes me so happy to see from this game but but looking at the result and looking at the way in which we conceded I think that is something that we 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 can control I mean a big five moment end of the end of the first half that we're completely dominant in and we and we let that we let two goals in the last five minutes and then on a set piece I mean those are such controllable things and I think those are the things that we're going to walk away and really really hone in on and kick ourselves about because we knew that those are things that we we can tidy up those are things that we can make sure that doesn't happen when we look at the, the opportunity you had in the first half that was your left off side. Did you think you were on from from their view? It looked as though you, you, you were on side. I would say that it was a hundred percent on side. And I know there as a striker, there's sometimes you're playing, you're like walking a tightrope. You're literally you're playing the line as as tight as you can. Um, for me, I haven't seen it yet. I, I know that's what I've been told. And also as a striker, I was I'm always on side. That's what I'm. <laughs> that's what I'm just gonna it's say. Uh, yeah. Period. No no further questions. But that being said. The most important thing is that put that goal away because in the World Cup there's VAR, and if there and that goal that's a goal, and I don't care how many people raise their hand and want to scoff at it or say, oh, I stopped playing because it was offsides. No, that ball's in the back of the net. They check that that's a goal, and then we're up one at zero up on, you know, a top five team in the world. So that's an important thing to me. Talk to us about the link up play in particular because we've seen at times you'd knock the ball down, Marissa played it wide, some more header and. Sinead knocking it down for you as well. Talk to us about that link of play and what you've really been working on the last couple of weeks. I think the most important thing that we've been working on is something that you can't even really work on. It's this, this, this trust and this um, kind of like unspoken ability to know that like how many like when a ball comes into me they tr people trust I'm going to keep it when I when a ball comes into me I trust after my first touch a pocket player is going to pop open all right I trust that Heather's on her on her bike and she's running down that field because that's that is almost like it's you, you it's almost just like this is such a flow of the game and I think that uh, that shows from last camp to this camp how much better and how much more we've grown in that I mean I felt that way a bit like I know like Sinead and I had a lot of success with that in the last camp and even like Denise and Rusha and now and even a bit with Marissa but today like it just was on like again it was this unspoken ability to know where a player is and that's the most I mean I know what I've been a part of many teams and I know that special teams are the ones that have that kind of ability to be like to play like that with players around you and to continue I mean again in the first 45 minutes too the talk, the communication, you, you can, you know, we're ta you're, you're talking around the opponent and you can convince the opponent that they're on the back foot. Like you can convince a, an opponent that, oh shoot, maybe they will score in this corner, you know, and that's what it felt like. And I think that's contagious and that's something I was really, really impressed with us in this game because I felt that as a player and I knew that was palpable amongst all of us. Awesome. You talked about that five minutes before half time. What was it like going in at half time, having been sucker punched twice just before the break? Yeah, I mean that's not the position you want to be in. It was it was definitely kind of like again it kind of takes the air out of the game and it kind of makes you feel like you've lost all the work you put in that 45. But I think a huge thing was that we came in into that locker room and we celebrated what that 45 in so many other ways though, and that yeah 
those those two the two goals at the end of the half are just non-negotiables. They can't happen in those last five minutes. They just cannot happen. And that's something that us as a team really have to reflect on and make sure that we're disciplined. As much as we're disciplined in every tackle, as much as we're disciplined in our lines, as much as we're disciplined for 90 minutes, you can't let those moments slip away. Um, but that being said, I think that Again, this is just another big step for us as a team to, to grow and to remind ourselves that when we get into those really pivotal moments of the game, that's when we have to be the loudest. That's when we have to be on each other's back the most. That's when we have to celebra celebrate the throw-ins and, 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 and really push a team back, as much, an opponent back as much as possible. Just, it seemed like a, a tireless shift out there. Um, are you ready to do that for three games in the World Cup if it comes down to it? Like yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, we're professionals. That's what we're here for, right? And what a position to be in. I don't think that anyone would ever stand here and, and say that they weren't ready for that. And I think that's what we live for. That's what we train for. That's what we play for. That's what we recover for. That's what we, you know, we, we want this. We want to survive. We want to be in this. We want to thrive in this. And we have to thrive in this. That's the biggest thing. Like, we have to remember that, like, we are Ireland and we have, and there is, there is, a, there, every opponent's looking at us and thinking they can, they'll try to get points off us. They, they think that's the game to do it. And we have to thrive on that. We have to, like, that has to be, that has to become our superpower almost, you know? And I really do think that that's, and this team especially, it's, and that is exactly what we, we will do. That's exactly what, this, it's ingrained in us, like, that grind and that grit. I mean, we're, all of us on this team, we're Irish for a reason, right? So, yeah. Oh, I know. That's big time. You can quote that. That's big time. Yeah. No. What a what a thing. To, I mean, just a send off of all send offs. I mean, to bring a top five team to Tala, and not only that, to be welcomed with such an impressive crowd, a supportive crowd, and incredible fans that have backed us for so long and just have seen it from our last campaign to this campaign even the beginning of the campaign and to now like oh my gosh I just did the growth is unbelievable it, it really is electric and it makes it feel that much more special so thank you to everyone who made that happen tonight and you mentioned you made France feel uncomfortable in that first half is that the game plan against Australia as well Absolutely. We want to make every team as uncomfortable as possible, but also we want to thrive in that uncomfortableness as well. I think that like a team, a team like like a top five team, a team like a France, they're not used to being the, being put on the back foot. They're not used to not having control of the game. And I think that that really is something you have to, we as a team though, we have to thrive in that. And so when a team wants, wants to make us uncomfortable, when a team thinks like, oh, we've, we've really kept the ball, like, oh, we've really moved it around the back, we just sit there and we go, this is great, keep doing it. Like, almost patronizingly, <laughs> you know? But like, you need to be like that. Like, you need to be crazy like that. Because I'm telling you, those are, it's a World Cup. Anything can happen. And those teams are the ones that come out and surprise everybody, so, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Thanks, Kira, best of luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.